now let's learn about a right circular cone okay what is a right circular cone it is a cone whose generators are at constant angle from a fixed line which itself passes through the vertex okay so this is a fixed line which passes through the vertex and my generators are at constant angle from this fixed line let's say that angle is alpha okay so such a cone is known as a right circular cone it is the standard cone that you see or that you have learned in school okay so this fixed line is known as the axis of the cone and this fixed angle or the constant angle is known as the semi vertical angle okay you can also think of this cone as a cone whose guiding curve is a circle and whose vertex is on a point that goes through the center of this circle and is normal to the plane in which circle lies okay so that's another way to look at your right circular cone your vertex is going to be on the line which is normal to the plane of the circle and passing through the center of the circle okay now let's find out the equation of a right circular cone which has the vertex at origin so this guy is 0, 0,0,0 and axis as z axis okay so this is my axis and we are saying this is the z axis okay let's just suppose that my constant angle which is the semi vertical angle is alpha i want to find out the equation of such a cone okay now see over here this is vertex which is 0, 0,0,0 and any point on the cone let's just suppose x, y, z so we have the generator which is this line at a constant angle with respect to this line right what are the drs of this line this is the z axis so all the points on this z axis are of type 0, 0,0, a right so the drs or in other words your direction cosines is going to be 0, 0, 0,1 or your drs are going to be 0, 0, 0,0, a okay similarly what are the drs of this generator the drs of this generator is going to be x minus 0 comma y minus 0 comma z minus 0 which is going to be x y z okay we know if we have the drs of two lines then we can find out the angle between them right so my cos alpha is going to be 1 into z okay or in other words it's gonna be 0 into x plus 0 into y plus a into z okay so i have a into z upon root of x square plus y square plus z square into root of 0 square plus 0 square plus a square okay i have a root of a square which is a I have A already present over here so essentially what I have is cos of alpha is equal to z upon root of x square plus y square plus z square ok let's square both the sides what I am getting is cos square alpha is equal to z square upon x square plus y square plus z square okay another way i can write is sec square alpha is equal to x square plus y square plus z square upon z square okay i have just rewritten this equation as your cos square alpha is going